Welcome back to WBRZ News 2 at 4. Dr. Stevens is here, and today we're talking about a facelift that promises to, to deliver results, but All there's right. conflicting data with yeah. that, you know, over the years. You know, facelift's a very complicated topic in itself you know, what to do about facial aging and the procedures that go along with it. Much less when companies like Lifestyle Lift promise great things which they imply that it's transferable between patient to patient and surgeon to surgeon, and implying a lesser technique, less recovery time, and great results in these photographs. And so that may or may not be true, and so we need to really check this out, ask the surgeon, ask to see pictures, and have patients that, we, that they've shown us that they've done in order to make a good decision. And so these things are very important when it comes to facelifts, especially any kind of surgery among the face. Okay, what kind of red flags should people be looking well, out for? Well, you know, it, we always say if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Right. But if you're promising, you know, our tight techniques, a uh, little downtime, and great results with these photographs, well, that's just not so. I mean, common sense dictates that that cannot be done. And so we really want to warn people that are looking for these type of things, that they really need to investigate it thoroughly. Maybe say a, see a couple of physicians before that they make they, their decision on who they're going to see and what they're going to do before they jump off into this. In your experience, what have your patients come and talk to you about well, problems with this? Well, the problems with this is that they've been oversold and they've been under-delivered mm -hmm. is generally the terms that they use with this. And so not all um, procedures, uh, facelifts, even, even with the best of surgeons, turn out 100% of the time. So we need to be very careful in picking the right patients and the right procedures, and not all procedures. One procedure is not for every patient. And so we want to make sure we're getting what we're being sold and make sure it's right for us. And what should they expect? Well, I think that if you have a patient that is in, say, their 50s or 60s, mm -hmm. and we have, you know, things about aging of the face or the jowls and the neck, I think those things can be corrected. But it cannot be corrected with a technique that takes two to three hours to do minimal surgery, minimal downtime. It takes a lot longer than that to see the results that last. And I think the problems are patients come back and they say, gee, I've had these big procedures, I've spent a lot of money doing this, and the results are just not there, they're not lasting. And I have now widened scars. Oh, and so it, it's a problem. And so we need to see the full facts mm -hmm. of the matter and make sure that we're making the right decisions and choosing the right procedures and the right surgeons. And so we need to pick a board certified plastic surgeon or a facial plastic surgeon. And we need to ask to see pictures and we need to say, okay, what complications and what can I expect with my particular situation? And, you know, it's very common sense type things, as we've said always. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. All right. Thanks so much for coming in, Dr. Sure. Stevens. We appreciate it. You're watching WBRZ News 2 at 4. We'll be right back.